animals that ask people for help. At first glance, animals tend to be afraid of humans, but in some instances, animals are just what is that? A slob? situations that they must ask humans for help. Somehow, these birds all perfectly got their heads stuck in between these fence posts. Who knows how long they would have been stuck here. Thankfully, this guy came along and saved the day. Ouch, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> this penguin is scared of a whale that is after it. The penguin sees these men in some boats and literally swims and leaps up into the boat and stays there until it feels safe again. <laughs> It's very lucky for the penguin that these boaters were here. I love penguins. They used to be my favorite animal. I have a penguin blanket. This stray <laughs> dog must have eaten the wrong thing and was poisoned. It needed help oh. and thankfully someone noticed this because they then called for the vet who came with an antidote. This poor dog definitely deserves his new life. Wait, that's the same dog? What? There's a stranded shark that's all tangled up between rocks and waves. This brave lady went out and literally just grabbed the shark and set it free. I can't believe someone would do this, but she's a very kind person. I could never. Touching a shark? I mean, that was a pretty small shark, but still, a shark? Very thirsty cobra here, and these people are brave enough to go and give it some water. When an animal even as scary as a cobra realizes they're being helped, there's a chance they let their guard down to take the help they need. No way. Just casually feeding it water. When any second it could poison you and... This bear was stuck underground for who knows how long. How'd it get in there then? The workers found it without even knowing. They then dug up the bear to the point of where it could be released and the bear gave them a big loud roar as a thank you. Check, check, I want to hear it. Let's hear it. Uh, almost. I want to hear the roar. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if that was, um, Saying thank you. Oh, oh. This wolf got stuck in it. <laughs> Did it just fall off the cliff? Well, I don't know if that if that bear was saying thank you or just like yelling so the humans did not hurt it while he ran away. Trap that wasn't meant for the wolf. I believe this was a coyote trap, but this wolf was tangled up in it. The owner of the trap went out and tried to free it. The wolf was at first a bit defensive, but realized quickly that the man was maybe trying to help. You're there Let you me go. get out of the way here. Yeah. Wait, what's the difference in a wolf and a coyote? Okay, you got it loosened all the way up? Yeah, I just want to get them facing this other way. Well, let me... Face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... What is, like, what's he... You're right there for Kelly. What's he... Out of that circle. <laughs> oh, we have a man what? who is trying to feed a hungry squirrel some peanuts. The thing is though, the man was trying to hand feed the squirrel, so it was a bit hesitant to approach him and take it out of his hand. But if you're hungry enough, you'll do it, and that's exactly what the squirrel did. Come on, just take it. Don't let him in the house though. Oh yeah, close the door so he can't get in. <laughs> A leopard fell into a 24-foot deep well. Just about no person or animal is going to be able to get out of here. Thankfully, someone spotted this and was able to lure down a box for the leopard to get into and pull it back to the surface. The leopard knew exactly what to do and got into the box. This fish was literally spoon-fed. He has great manners. It's a big, f big fish. Like for that type of fish, right? Or am I wrong? Like and subscribe to make this dog happy. Okay. Here we have a bird that was sinking. Don't worry, I got you, bro. You guys do the same. Thank you. First, when watching this clip, I thought the bear just got an easy midday snack. Instead, the bear was actually there to save the bird and pulled it out of the water. Lucky for the bird, the bear must have not been hungry at this time. Um... I thought it just ripped the wing off. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna think he was trying to help. 
We have some skiers and snowboarders who are way out. Oh, look at all the powder. A random horse. Who knows a horse? how this horse has been out here, or how this horse even got up here. Since this is not an ideal place for a horse, they proceeded to what? the horse down the mountain and returned it to a safer environment. That would take forever. This Especially where they were with all the powder. Stuck inside of a pot. These people did their best to free the cheetah, and thankfully, after one last good pull, the cheetah was released and ran off as fast as it could. I don't think this cheetah will be putting its head inside any more pots, that's for sure. Is that actually a cheetah? It just looks like a cat. Oh, don't hurt it now. <laughs> it literally just looks like a cat. Out in the middle of the water. The like it's the same size. Ended up coming upon the sloth and using their paddle, they swept the sloth up onto it while carefully bringing it to shore. This may be the luckiest sloth in the world. <laughs> Oh, he's having a nice little ride now. <laughs> oh, sloths are so like a baby elephant cute. who is stuck in the ditch. All Just the way they like look around. They're to go and free this elephant. After they get the job done, the mother elephant gives them a salute and thanks them for what they've done. This is so beautiful. <laughs> this giraffe wasn't paying attention and fell inside of these people's pool. It was no! and wasn't able to get out on its own. Thankfully, over a dozen people came and were there to help. Keep in mind, a full-size male giraffe weighs 4,000 pounds, so Holy. just imagine how hard this was for these people to get this giraffe up and freed back into the wild. Giraffes are interesting. Just look at the look, look at the neck. <laughs> dog, get away from those pools. Poor dog was literally frozen to the ground. He must have been there for so long because when people came for help, he just panicked and didn't know what to do. He was likely very scared. I'm so glad someone spotted the dog and they were able to help. Aww. Here we have a bird that was, he was shivering, shaking due to the heat. This truck driver spotted the bird, gave it some water, and even took it inside his truck to crank the AC and allow the bird to cool down before setting it back free. This is like this close. Good heart. It's like this close to running over it. There was a deer that was struggling to swim in the water when this man was not going to let this deer sink. He passed off his drink and dove straight into the water to go and save this deer. People like this are the reason there's still faith in humanity. Imagine how thankful this deer was for a second chance at life. Oh, it's just a tiny, tiny deer. This dog lost both. I was like, how is he gonna get that out? Being treated improperly by humans. As you can imagine, the dog then has trust issues with humans, but this guy would not give up on this pup. Wholesome man who is willing to spare some of his water for this monkey that was very thirsty. In hot weather like this, the man could have been selfish oh. and kept all the water for himself. Instead, he chose to help this monkey who would have not had water for days. This monkey will never want to leave this man's side. Aww. We have you know what? I was just about to say, I want, like, I actually wanted a monkey. Well, like, no, I want, I still want a monkey. It's just, like, I could never, like, it would, like, destroy the whole house jumping around and stuff. But that, that right there made me think of, like, when he went up by his lap, that made me think of this. Hold on, I gotta show you guys. It made me think of this. Oh, monkeys, look at him, he's so cute. But, you know what's not cute? These monkeys that attacked me. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. Okay. We have this black mamba that somehow got tangled up inside of this car's engine. A mamba? Remove it without harming the car. Or black snake. mamba? The professional was called. Oh, a snake, yeah. This. Black mambas are some of the largest snakes and the last thing you want in your engine. Like, how do you how do you find the snake there? Like, what makes you decide to look underneath the hood and find a snake? Maybe it just wasn't running right, and he's like, what the heck? Let me check under the hood. Thanks for watching. Tap on the snake. That's weird for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.